everybody and welcome to this special on the sun transiting in Libra. So yeah, this year the sun is in Libra from the 17th of October at 2.13 and then the sun enters Scorpio on the 16th of November at 2.02am. So I'm Amani, I'm your holistic astrological life coach and I'm going to take a deep dive into what it means when the sun is in Libra and remember all my um, interpretations are based on Vedic constellational astrology which differs from Western astrology and is based on where the planets and the luminaries which are the sun and the moon are at any given time up in the sky. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the astrological meanings, plus the practical, financial, political, worldly, materialistic, social, collective uh, meanings of the transiting sun in Libra. So when the transiting sun moves through Libra, it brings a period that focuses on balance, harmony and relationships and Libra is ruled by Venus, the planet of love and beauty. So this transit often brings a sense of refinement and elegance in our lives. And people with natal sun in Libra, a lot of Libra energy in their chart, often possess a strong appreciation for, you know, beauty, aesthetics in general, because Venus, the planet of love and art, rules um, Libra. So ultimately, the sun in Libra focuses on, um, you know, wanting us to self-reflect about how we interact with others and, you know, wants us to learn the importance of compromise and diplomacy in our relationships. And the desire for fairness can lead to us, you know, really looking to gain justice, whether it's just in our relationships or in the workplace or or within a social activist movement. And it influences our social dynamics by pushing for collective action aimed at achieving equality. So in general, even though I'm going to go more into how it affects our relationships in depth, we may find ourselves prioritising collaboration over competition, creating an environment where cooperation becomes essential and this can improve communication skills and lead to greater awareness of how our actions affect those around us and it just wants us to nurture a sense of empathy and shared responsibility and And as people seek to create balance in their interactions, we may also, you know, re-evaluate our boundaries, learning to assert ourselves while still maintaining harmony within our relationships. Because, you know, Libra energy can be very people-pleasery. And it's good to please others, you know, and to, you know, share love, but not to let them walk over us because this means they're taken away from our authenticity and our own self-love and esteem. Even if you enjoy pleasing others, like a lot of people do, myself too, but there has to be boundaries in that because some people will literally, you know, take, take, take from you until all you've got is literally bones, you know. So we have to have boundaries. So, you know, yeah, you know, respect others, meet their needs, but also meet your own needs as the sun is in Libra as well. So practically, it wants us to you know, focus on bringing more balance and fairness in our negotiations and organisations, you know, workplace, relationships and, you know, bring more quality into our teamwork and we may feel more compelled to engage in conversations about pressing issues such as the lack of um, acceptance of people who are different from us and this can and this can lead to initiatives that are aimed at creating more community togetherness and, yeah, you know, it just wants us to seek fairness and cooperation and strive for more peace in our communication so yeah it's an excellent energy especially if you've been putting off difficult conversations the hard conversations can be had with more ease because of this energy right now if you're willing to actively listen and to you know really work at it and give the time and space to hear everyone's involved grievances and compromise and you know we're willing to negotiate and find 
find common ground and we can just feel more inclined also as I said to appreciate culture and beauty and art and this transit does serve as a reminder of the importance of unity and teamwork and it just encourages us to work together towards common goals that benefit you know us as a collective rather than just focusing on our individual needs as well but you know do not neglect your individual needs also so yeah practically it's just about you know creating more harmony in our relationships where everyone's needs are met and embracing grace and creativity in our daily lives in terms of financially we can find ourselves more tuned to aesthetics and ethics of our financial choices right now and it encourages a balance between personal ambition and social responsibility pushing us to reassess our investment priorities whether it's our investment in our savings or our time or energy because a lot of the time you know it's not just about um, money it's about well if we're giving our time to toxic things and uh, wasting our energy then we're not even having that that time that we could be investing in ourselves to improve our skills or to work more to improve our living standards and stuff like that so from a financial perspective their emphasis and balance can lead to more prudent decision making as we as individuals and business can reassess investments and expenditures you know what's going in and what's going out sort of thing and focus on building long-term sustainability you know looking at where we can save more or where we need to spend more to achieve more balance so you may choose to spend more on your own personal development or physical development you know or psychological mental well-being in general it wants us to sort of like shift towards cooperative economic models where said resources are mutually supported and distributed and that may sound like a utopia but you know we have to speak these things into existence right so yeah discussion surrounding equality can gain traction you know interest policy makers may feel pressured to implement reforms aimed at reducing economic disparities you know the gap between the richer and the poor in society and this can pave way for a more inclusive financial landscape and because investors may be more inclined to seek opportunities that promote social responsibility and ethical practices reflecting the you know the values of Libra this can also manifest as a rise in sustainable investments or ventures that focus on community enchantment and this can reveal a collective desire to create financial systems that are just and beneficial for all and additionally Libra's energy can encourage careful evaluation of existing financial partnerships and collaborations and businesses may take the time to assess their alliances and consider how to strengthen relationships that contribute to mutual growth and this focus on negotiation and compromise can lead to you know fruitful beneficial business deals that prioritize win-win outcomes ultimately creating a cooperative um, you know work environment and as you know us as individuals and organizations have the chance to embrace the principles of fairness the potential for innovative financial solutions um, that reflect the values of partnership and equality can become increasingly viable because right now we think oh you know dog eat dog world capitalism but really you know the system is kind of broken we need we do need a change so this desire for harmony can make us more considerate of how our individual financial decisions impact broader society issues and we are seeing this more and more in the past five to ten years we are becoming a lot more conscious but what we need to start becoming a lot more conscious of you know where we allocate our money to in terms of you know the idea of celebrity and how much celebrity should someone have and how much money should one individual really have uh, and all the rest of it and this can just lead to a heightened interest in socially responsible investing and just being more conscientious about how it's 
good to support independent businesses, musicians, creatives and all the rest of it. And um, people may just be more inclined to support businesses that not only deliver returns but also contribute positively to you know their communities and the world at large and this can create a sense of interconnectedness that aligns with you know Libra's values and just leads to more cooperation. Ultimately the Sun in Libra wants us to focus on collaboration, working together rather than being in competition with each other in our financial ventures and you know on the individual level engaging with financial advisors or peers that are good with money for advice or support can become a common theme and this can result in a supportive network that encourages shared knowledge and strategy development without the time then the knowledge of how to you know accumulate and keep wealth can be kind of like not taught it's not taught in school and stuff we have to sort of learn it and some of us can come across it by luck you know rather than you know really being taught it so this cooperative dynamic energy of the sun in Libra if we're open to reassessing a lot of us will spend I don't know 500 pound on a pair of shoes but not 500 pound on our own psychological health or even our dental health or even our personal development you know so it wants us to make informed decisions that are not only financially rewarding but also resonate with our personal principles and development needs and this can create a more holistic approach to wealth management and sort of like gathering wealth as well. So in terms of the political influences it focuses on you know coalition building, working with different parties, governmental parties rather than against and because you know Libra as I said embodies the principles of fairness, justice, political leaders and parties may prioritise conversations and negotiation over confrontational tactics and this is well needed in the world today and this can lead to more sort of like two party dual efforts in governance as diverse groups work together to address pressing societal issues and the emphasis on equality and inclusivity may push policy makers to consider the voices of marginalized communities and this can lead to you know laws being changed that promote social justice and equality and you know also during in the sun's transit in Libra, electoral strategies may reflect a preference for candidates who advocate for unity and collective progress and this is really really needed. We don't need governments fighting against each other, we need them working together to sort of like lead us in the right direction you know and as public sentiment leans towards harmonious um, solutions um, leaders may you know sort of like rise to this challenge and voter engagement can rise and because of this sort of like um, collaboration and shared values amongst leaders and this can spread out to you know the voters the constituents and political discourse may become more refined with an increased focus on language that fosters you know develops builds upon understanding and cooperation and because Libra's influence highlights the importance of relationships there may also be a heightened scrutiny of political alliances and you know voters can look for candidates who demonstrate a commitment to partnership and the common good rather than you know filling their own pockets and all of that that you know a lot of leaders have done across time so yeah countries may find themselves you know prioritizing conversations that build consensus and utilateral actions and this can reflect on you know Libra's core attributes of balance and partnership and this shift can lead to effective resolutions in global issues issues such as climate change, trade disputes and humanitarian crises as nations seek to collaborate with frameworks and you know, policies that ensure mutual benefits and respect for said interests 
can thus you know lead to more understanding among nations creating a climate where constructive engagement thrives rather than you know slinging mud and saying well you did this in 1950 well you did that in 2020 you know sort of thing you know just trying to be more fair with each other all in all when the sun's in Libra politically we can just see a rise in soft power initiatives where nations utilize cultural diplomacy in terms of the social and materialistic meanings it wants us to sort of like take more responsibility in our social dynamics as i said it encourages communities to celebrate partnerships not just in governments but also in consumer behaviour and this can lead to cooperative business models and ethical consumption practices as we gravitate towards brands and initiatives that reflect our values. Businesses may respond by adapting sustainable practices and promoting inclusivity resulting in a marketplace that rewards social consciousness alongside material success and in terms of you know society behavior this transit can just make us want to be connected you know liberal energy is very social energy public spaces may become more vibrant with social activities art and cultural expressions that highlight community spirit and as people seek out shared experiences this trend can lead to a great appreciation from local artisans and businesses and this can just drive a shift towards supporting local economies and as this collective consciousness shifts towards sustainability businesses may find it advantageous you know good to incorporate eco-friendly materials and socially responsible production methods into their operations and because you know the sun in Libra demands for more ethically produced goods and also more ethically produced spending you know as well and the growing customer base wants more transparency and fairness so all in all the sun's journey through libra not only shapes individual preferences but also catalyzes broader economic trends that advocate for more balance between profit and purpose you know so now i'm going to talk about the psychological spiritual esoteric symbolic and emotional meanings of the sun transit in libra so psychologically we may experience a heightened sense of harmony in our relationships leading to improved communication as this period encourages self-reflection and a deeper understanding of our own emotions which in turn you know can foster create empathy towards others you know and as we become more attuned to our own needs and the feelings of others we can be better equipped to recognize and validate the experiences of those around us creating a more supportive environment without being you guessed it to people pleasery so yeah so this increased self-awareness can have a ripple effect on social interactions and this can promote diplomatic relationships and reduce conflicts and we can be more likely to seek compromise and understanding and we can just value cooperation over confrontation and this emphasis and harmony can lead to more meaningful connections as relationships are nurtured through mutual respect and open conversations so although we may not want confrontation this doesn't mean we don't address issues we have to address them but without doing it in an aggressive way doing it in a more gentle way and um, if we're willing to do this we can build greater emotional resilience and a greater sense of community within ourselves and um, within our friendship groups and workplaces and stuff as well but I'm going to talk a bit more in depth about how the sun in Libra affects our relationships in the sort well spiritually it wants us to 
develop, cultivate a deeper connection with our personal values and beliefs. It wants us to gain more inner peace by working through our shadows. If you don't know what shadow work is, it's basically going within ourselves into our darkness, into our weaknesses and learning to accept and express our shadow traits in a um, you know productive manner. So you may have a lot of aggressive energy. It's wrong to take out on others, but you know, doing it in terms of lifting weights or joining a boxing gym, you know, um, it's all about channeling those dark traits, those weaknesses in a way that uplifts you and accepting them because often it's the things we reject in ourselves that causes us the biggest problem in our relationships. So it wants us to, you know, prioritize what genuinely resonates with our spirit, with our authentic self-expression and this can lead to a more authentic way of living and engaging in spiritual practices can just become more appealing right now whether it be meditation, tai chi, yoga, mindfulness or other forms of self-exploration and spiritual practice people can seek to deepen their understanding of themselves and their place in the world and as we become more um, aligned with our inner selves we may find that this clarity increases our ability to navigate life's challenges and you know the pursuit of inner peace right now wants us to be more compassionate and empathetic with ourselves and others and just be more patient and not only towards ourselves but also towards others as well and this can create an environment that's swiping and good for um, spiritual growth and this alignment with our personal values act as a guiding force allowing individuals to pursue paths that reflect our true selves ultimately leading to a more fulfilling and purposeful life experience okay so in terms of the esoteric hidden meanings it can just have us having a more sort of like yearning need for genuine connection and intimacy and as we dig deep into our inner world we may uncover layers of desire that social expectations or personal fears may have masked you know so it really wants us to you know explore and find our authenticity and commit to our needs of um, you know meeting our fears where did they originate from i know it can be scary to go into the past or into past heartbreaks and stuff like that but this energy is really pushing us to you know confront what needs confronting and because it's a balanced energy we can do it in a more gentle way it wants us also to seek relationships and experiences that resonate with our true selves and authentic needs and I know it's hard because it can be hard to let go of toxic relationships that often become our comfort zones but you know it wants us to get real about are these relationships serving you or not and by confronting you know your hidden desires you can align more harmoniously with your emotional truths and this can create a deeper more meaningful connections with others and this journey towards becoming more authentic not only you know um, enchances your interpersonal relationships relationships but also promote self-acceptance and self-awareness and as you explore deeper into your truths you are encouraged to reflect on your unique identities and the roles they play in your relationships and by embracing these insights this can lead to transformative experiences allowing you to break free from superficial interactions and embrace being vulnerable and ultimately this process you know nurtures a profound connection to yourself and the world and this can just um, you know enrich your personal and you know social experiences right now in terms of the symbolic and creative meanings it encourages us to see the world through a lens of beauty and creativity right now and we can just you know be more as I said, in touch with appreciating aesthetics, different ones, you know, we've all got different tastes and it wants us to, you know, just find more balance in our personal expression and surroundings and artists and creators and I believe we're all artists and creators, you know, whether your drawings are, you know, stick people 
to elaborate, you know, details of the human body, we can all create, you know, we are all creators. So it wants us to, you know, explore themes that resonate with our inner truths, building connections between our experiences and the wider tapestry of human emotions. And this focus on beauty can push um, for reflection on, you know, the value of art and aesthetics in our life, you know, and balancing art with our day to day life and you know not just balancing because it's visually appealing right now but it wants us to sort of like emotionally resonate with art and creativity right now and you know use art to work through our hard feelings as well and as we use our creative energies we may discover new ways to articulate our emotional psychological and spiritual you know um trauma and wounds and this can lead to a richer understanding of ourselves and our environment and by prioritizing creativity and beauty right now it just wants us to engage at a deeper level with the world creating a sense of connection and fulfillment so emotionally it can trigger our emotional intelligence guiding us to be more sensitive and understanding in our relationships and as i said it encourages a deeper awareness of our emotions and this can lead to more compassion and empathy as we tune into not only our own feelings and needs but the needs and feelings of those around us and this can just help us repair arguments in our relationships and develop more meaningful connections and this can lead to improve communication and conflict resolution and this heightened focus on diplomacy can just help us you know balance our personal desires with the needs of others and this can just promote more cooperation as we you know build more harmony within ourselves and our relationships and it just wants us to self reflect on our own emotional responses providing an opportunity for emotional awareness and we just may find ourselves reflecting more on our relationship dynamics and the impact of our words and actions on others so yeah with the emphasis on fairness and equality it encourages us to you know be more accountable raise our self-love acceptance pushing us to engage um, in relationships that are not only nourishing and supportive letting go of those which are toxic and it just serves for a guide for us to you know develop or use our interpersonal skills and um, you know just get more in tune with our true authentic needs within relationships now i'm going to talk about how the following aspects positively and negatively affect the sun's transit in libra so first we've got the moon opposing the sun and the sun making a square to mars so um the opposition between the moon and the sun mars is square to the sun and also the sun makes a trine to jupiter the moon opposing the sun brings emotional turbulence and increased sensitivity but it's pushing us to confront underlying feelings that have been overlooked and as i said the sun in libra wants us to deal with the conflicts in our relationships but in a more harmatic manner rather than being confrontational but we must deal with them all the same so yeah we can find ourselves in conflict between our personal desires and external expectations right now and this can lead to a tug of war between our inner self and the demands of our environment and the square to mars also adds more impulsivity and disagreements and frustration so we have to just be more mindful of you know how we use this energy and the best use of this added you know um, aggressive energies to do physical activities or you know be assertive yes but be assertive in a calm manner the trying um, to jupiter brings the silver lining so to speak as it makes us more optimistic and expansive wanting us um to you know rise above being um using our you know animal instincts and just being aggressive it gives us the wisdom and confidence to navigate challenges in a more peaceful way being willing to see everyone's side of the arguments and by balancing 
our awareness and having that openness to self-reflection we can just align our emotional needs with our external realities the sun also makes a queen quartz to uranus the sun also makes a square to pluto and the sun also makes an opposition to tyrant as well so the sun's um, queen quartz to uranus wants us to you know and it can bring unexpected changes or revelations that challenges our personal identity and self-expression and this can manifest as you know us being restless and you know giving us the push to break free from routine suggesting that embracing you know being spontaneous can lead to valuable insights but we also have to be mindful of resistance to change as we struggle to reconcile our insights with our existing beliefs or lifestyle and this can create internal friction so you know this energy really wants us to you know rethink our relationships but we may resist this even though it may bring us um, you know light bulb moments of you know I need to do this I need to say this we may resist it so we need to work with this energy and break free from routine but also you know again uh, respecting other people's boundaries but also asserting our own needs in a balanced way sun square to Pluto sort of like again forces us into confrontations and to confront deep-seated fears and issues especially those related to control and authority it supports us to bring transformation in our life as well and it can kind of bring a struggle for dominance in our relationships or work situations but when this happens it's pushing us to dig deeper into the darker aspects of our psyche and I said earlier you know shadow work's important and tyrant opposition to the sun you know reminds us that self-reflection is needed right now it supports us in engaging with our past traumas and gives us you know plenty of energy that supports our healing and growth right now and it just challenges us to face our problems head on and it also supports us into having a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the world as well the sun makes a semi-square to the ascendant and the sun also makes a bi-quintile to the midhaven so this is nice um, sort of energies and again um, you know it just reminds us that we may find it hard to accept our self-image right now and how we present ourselves to the world it supports us re-evaluating our identity but doing this can lead to conflicts and misunderstandings um, in how you wish to be perceived how versus you know how others do see you because a lot of the time you know we see ourselves in a different light you know it's not always in tune with what others see us as and this is because we can people please or we can just be lacking self-awareness and not know the kind of effect we can have on others for good or bad it's not necessarily a bad thing sometimes people think they're a bad person when they're actually a good person and vice versa but it wants us to be cautious not to overreact or be um, defensive if people say no you're not like this or you know if people get the wrong idea about you or kind of keep, try and keep you in the box you know we have to be flexible and remain open to communication and this can help us navigate the challenges that come up and help us reshape our personal um, narratives with our alien dolls around us and the boy quintal um, with the sun and the midhaven gives us lots and lots of lots of creative inspiration what we need to be artistic and to work with art to work for our emotions as I said earlier and it wants us to find our unique talent and find a platform for expressing them so some of you may start a podcast create content and all the rest of it as well it gives us opportunities for recognition and advancement it's a time to use your creativity and showcase your personal style in your career but negatively tension can come up if we um, you know feel the urge to overset ourselves and this can um, lead to conflict with professional expectations or our public persona you know and it, and it wants us to kind of harmlessly integrate the energies of wanting to be ourselves but respecting other people's rights to do so as well and it may cause problems as well because other people may not want you to get outside of your comfort zone as I said and you may resist doing so as well missing the opportunity to be more creative and go after what you need to go after even if there's like 
billions of creators in the world go out there and find your niche you know it's never too late to start something new now i'm going to talk about the two t-squares that happens when the sun transits in libra so the first t-square involves the moon in pisces chiron in pisces and mars in gemini and also the Sun in Libra within an 18% orb and the second involves Mars in Gemini, Sun in Libra and Pluto in Capricorn within the 12% orb and I'm going to talk about how these affect um, the transiting Sun in Libra okay so now I'm going to talk about what a T-square is in astrology and the positives and negatives of a transiting T-square um, so a T-square in astrology is when three or more planets, normally some people count points, I will only count a point such as the Moon's North Node if it was like conjunct a planet like um, Venus at the same degree or something like that in a T-square, I wouldn't necessarily include it on its own. So yeah, T-square is when three or more planets form a right angled triangle in a transit char and this configuration involves two planets being evolved each other creating tension and a third planet squares both of the opposing planets and this is why it's called like a t-square and um, because it looks like a t and the positives of a transiting t-square include increased motivation for growth and change opportunities for self-awareness and transformation and the potential for breakthroughs in difficult situations it can act as a catalyst for personal development and push us outside of our comfort zones negatively we can struggle with decision making due to the conflicting energies we can experience a heightened emotional intensity leading to stress or anxiety and challenges in communication and our relationships and it can also kind of bring eternal conflict to some of us as well and um, because of the external obstacles that come or the you know the internal thoughts of unresolved psychological emotional and spiritual trauma that can come up and you know dealing with these issues internally or externally <laughs> that come up can require patience and resilience to overcome so yeah Okay, so the first T-square between the Moon in Pisces, Chiron in Pisces and Mars in Gemini and the Sun in Libra. The Moon represents our emotions and instincts and Chiron, um, you know, represents healing and vulnerable when it's in Pisces. So this supports us in finding more balance and assertiveness and emotional sensitivity while maintaining harmony and fairness in our relationships we may um, feel more you know and we're supported to address issues related to communication emotional healing assertiveness and self-expression so this really supports everything i said about what we need to do when the sun's in libra and it wants us to consciously use our energies to transform whatever needs transforming healing resolving in our lives right now and the second t square between mars in gemini the sun in libra and pluto in capricorn within the 12th percent orb brings to us you know increased mental activity and restlessness due to the presence of mars in gemini but it wants us to focus and supports us in focusing on our communication the sun in libra once again brings the balance in this t-square and pluto in capricorn brings the grounding and you know the transformational confrontational energy to confront that needs to happen and also you know allows us to make the changes we need to make for personal and relationship growth and although this t-square brings tension it allows us to be flexible and have more resilience um, in dealing what comes up right now so we just have to you know be mindful of how we speak to others right now maintain emotional balance or you know do self-care and other things to you know get emotional stability right now and be open to transformative experiences at this time rather than sticking to our comfort zones 
Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the karmic meanings and lessons which should be learned during the sun's transit in Libra and what type of past life memories or dreams may surface and what the collective karma is of the sun in Libra. So as I said, Libra is associated with balance, harmony, relationships and justice and it wants us to find equilibrium in various aspects of our life uh, related to decision making fairness and partnerships and that's the karmic lessons in terms of past life memories and dreams you know we can have dreams related to relationship issues lifetimes where we seek justice or fairness and didn't get it and it wants us to learn the importance of compromise and cooperation and collectively it can make us sort of like and um, brings the karma of diplomacy peacekeeping social justice and the importance of considering different perspectives before making decisions and it's time to reflect on how our actions impact others and how we can strive for greater balance and harmony in our interactions with the world around us. So now I'm going to talk about in depth how our family relationships, friendships, co-worker relationships, committed relationships, hookup relationships, single and self-partnered relationships are affected when the sun is in Libra. So in terms of family relationships, we can become more balanced and thoughtful in them as it encourages us to prioritise listening and understanding, allowing us to have different perspectives and allowing them to coexist more peacefully and as we engage in discussions we may notice a tendency to seek compromise rather than conflict and this can increase relationships with family members and create an atmosphere of mutual respect activities that involve teamwork such as family gatherings or collaborative projects can thrive during this time and as everyone can feel the heightened sense of unity and said purpose we may also experience a shift in how you handle conflict with resolution and Libra's influence wants us to um, view disputes as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles and this can lead to healing conversations that mend our old family wounds and solidify our family bonds you know making them more together and solid as I said but we just have to be mindful of the potential for superficial harmony you know just getting along striving for peace ignoring the real issues and we have to make sure that we you know address and confront underlying issues rather than brush them aside and because in family relationships there can be a tendency towards passive aggressiveness in a way the over emphasis and keeping up appearances rather than addressing underlying issues can lead to strained communication and a lack of genuine emotional um, connection within the family unit just have to be sort of like um, you know mindful of this and just try and you know be honest you know yes yeah, short term we can be passive aggressive ignore the real issues but we could address them in a nice manner rather than them to you know <laughs> explode when the sun's in Scorpio or Mercury's in Scorpio you know Okay, so now I'm going to talk about how friendships are effective. Again, we may feel an urge to maintain peace, but again, it's crucial to ensure that deep issues are not overlooked. Um, friendships can blossom as you gravitate towards individuals that say your values and interests. Um, it encourages us to engage in meaningful conversations, helping us to discover common ground that strengthens these connections, and we can feel more likely to feel more inspired to reach out to friends organize social gatherings or simply spend quality time together which nurtures an environment where relationships can grow and as we you know build these friendships we can notice an increase in empathy and support among our peers as we you know be supportive with each other and this heightened emotional connection can lead to greater willingness to share vulnerabilities and personal stories and this can 
enable us to build a deeper sense of trust but we have to be mindful of the potential for idealizing friendships during this time while it's wonderful to celebrate the positive aspects maintaining realistic expectations is vital um, for long-term connection and because you know the sun in Libra can lead to us um, you know having difficulties in making decisions in our friendship groups and the tendency to um, you know prioritize social niceties and people pleasing over honest conversations it's important during this time to strive for honest communication and the willingness to address you know the underlying tensions to maintain and build healthy and fulfilling relationships with friends and by doing this you know we can ensure that the balance of our relationship and the roots of them remain strong so in terms of co-worker relationships this influence can bring in decisiveness and difficulties in reaching agreements or compromises therefore effective communication among co-workers is essential to create collaborative and harmonious work environments and when we engage in balanced dialogues where both listening and speaking are prioritized misunderstandings can be minimized and clarity is in chance and this balance allows team members to express um, their ideas and concerns openly and this can lead to increased trust and um, respect and through regular check-ins and constructive feedback we are able to navigate challenges more smoothly ensuring that everyone feels valued and heard and this can lead to improved teamwork balanced communication and contributes to personal relationships at work and running more smoothly as it encourages a culture of support and transparency where colleagues can work together without fear of judgment and when we take the time to understand co-workers perspectives and openly share our own beliefs we can create a foundation for stronger connections and this practice not only boosts our morale but also increases productivity making it easier to overcome and achieve common goals and overcome obstacles that will so yeah so yeah ultimately prioritizing balanced communication in the workplace helps us develop a positive atmosphere that's good for both professional success and personal fulfillment in terms of committed relationships um, it can bring a wave of romance and mutual understanding we can notice an increased desire for harmony and balance in our relationships and push for meaningful conversations that deepen our emotional connection and this energy encourages us to focus on partnership and cooperation allowing both you and your partner to express your needs and desires more openly and as we engage in conversation we might discover new dimensions of our bond rekindling the passion that initially brought you together nevertheless in committed couples there may be a tendency towards seeking external validation or avoiding conflict which can put a strain on communication and emotional intimacy so it's important to prioritize open and honest communication to maintain a strong and healthy committed relationship right now and we may just feel more compelled to engage in shared activities that strengthen our connections whether it's through spontaneous date nights or simply enjoying each other's company at home maybe cooking a nice meal or just listening to music gaming together singing together you know just hanging out and these moments of togetherness can reignite the spark and create a deeper sense of unity and as you navigate you know the sunny libra the focus on empathy and compromise can make it easier to support one another's goals and challenges and this renewed energy not only increases our romantic life but also can help us build a foundation of trust and understanding that can withstand future challenges so yeah in terms of hookup relationships positively it can create an atmosphere where individuals are you know more inclined to seek connections with others that foster a sense of cooperation and mutual understanding in hookup relationships and this emphasis of fairness and diplomacy can encourage open communication and a desire to find common ground between partners this is really good 
However, on the negative end, because we can, you know, want to avoid conflict at all costs, this can lead to issues being swept under the carpet and ignored. People can people please, people can say things they don't mean because they want to hurt others' feelings and this can have serious consequences such as telling someone you love them and you don't and they can get all happy and tell their friends, tell everyone and believe you want a relationship and you don't, you just want to have a casual encounter. And, you know, this is dire, really. We can't do that to people, we must be honest. Additionally, the desire for external validation and approval um, that can come with Libra energy may lead individuals to prioritise superficial harmony over addressing deeper issues within their relationships. And it just wants us ultimately to strike a balance between seeking harmony and addressing any issues that come up right now as well. In terms of singles and self-partnered individuals, and for singles, it wants us to be assertive and make bold decisions. For self-partnered people, the emphasis on relationships during this transit can highlight feelings of loneliness or unfulfilled desires for companionship. It's important to navigate these influences with self-awarenesses and open communication to maintain healthy relationships during this time allow for a deeper understanding of your individual needs and desires you may find that the transiting sun in Libra invites you to embrace solitude as a means of you know self um, discovery and um, this can lead to moments of um, reflection that increases your self acceptance and by prioritizing your own well-being right now you can create a foundation of confidence that positively influences influences your relationships with others and yourself and this clarity can empower you to set boundaries and recognize the value of your time and energy and this can create connections that are healthier with those um, around you and as you embrace this self-reflection you know you may find um, yourself more inspired to redefine your approach to love and companionship and this transit encourages you to explore the concept of being self part where you celebrate your independence while remaining open to the possibility of future connections. The energy of Libra serves as a reminder that fulfillment, happiness can come from within, allowing you to cultivate a sense of wholeness before seeking it, you know, externally. And it just gives us the opportunity as singles and self partners to align with your personal values and you know confront your inner loneliness and try and fill some of those gaps with self love, acceptance and forgiveness and care and you know just reflect on how you relate with others but how you relate to yourself a lot of the time we can relate to others badly because we relate to ourselves badly and by you know going within yourself and asking these questions and others you feel to ask yourself you can make way for more authentic and meaningful interactions with others in the future. Now I'm going to talk about how career, personal, spiritual, educational and self-partner development are affected when the sun's in Libra. So as I said, in terms of our career, it promotes teamwork and cooperation. It allows us to form new business partnerships and achieve balance in our professional relationships. But on the negative side, because we can be indecisive, we can have challenges in decision making, especially in roles where we need to make quick decisions, maybe you're, uh, you know, um, emergency worker like a nurse um, paramedic something like that as well and it wants us to not prioritize harmony over assertiveness right now and we have to find the balance between accommodating and standing firm on important issues to avoid being taken advantage of in the workplace or you know um, not making decisions that potentially could save someone's life or something like that as well and we just need to watch out for the desire for approval from others which may get in the way of you know personal growth in terms of personal development it wants us to you know work on our communication skills and strive for fairness and justice it also wants us to you know be more creative and appreciate beauty and you know be more diplomatic but we just need to again watch out for those indecisiveness the people pleasing tendencies and the fear of a conflict as we can you know struggle to make decisions 
and seek excessive um, approval from others and the tendency to avoid confrontation and have difficult conversations in order to maintain peace can get in the way of personal growth and self-expression and um, you know it's important for us to find balance in our lives and improve our relationships and develop our social skills communication skills and um, you know just try and focus on our personal growth as well in terms of spiritual development because it wants us to seek peace within ourselves and others this can lead to a deeper sense of spiritual connection it encourages us to approach spiritual matters with a sense of fairness and justice but negatively the indecisiveness can lead to us prioritizing external validation over inner reflection and spiritual growth right now and this can get in the way of our spiritual development by creating a sense of imbalance or superficiality in our spiritual practices. So it's important for individuals at this time to remain mindful of maintaining authenticity and seeking true inner harmony um, you know, in between external um, influences. In terms of our educational development, it can bring more balance and harmony, creating a good environment to um, learn in groups and, you know, do really well in group presentations and stuff. We may find ourselves more focused on building relationships, considering different perspectives and learning techniques, maybe mind mapping, I don't know, using stickers or whatever to improve your um, learning, um, you know, having a balance between fun and work to avoid burnout as well and just being more fair in your academic projects and um, learning to yourself and others and this can lead to improved communication skills, increased teamwork abilities and a greater appreciation for arts as well but negatively it can lead to indecisiveness, superficial learning and conflict avoidance in educational settings as we can struggle with making firm decisions and we can prioritise um, um, you know, other people's um, needs over our own, the team's needs over our own, which may not be beneficial. Or we may struggle with, you know, confronting, challenging academic um, tasks head on and, you know, just do the basic work without going in depth and this can, like, um, you know, get in the way of your, you know, expanding your learning and stuff. And, you know, the tendency towards seeking approval from others rather than focus on your personal growth and intellectual development can also get in the way of you learning things um, you know what you need to learn right now and make sure that you prioritize your studies effectively so it's important to find a balance between social harmony and individual academic progress when the sun is in Libra in terms of self partner development it wants us to you know sort of like gain a better understanding of ourselves and our needs within relationships and encourages working on building healthier connections with others but it can also lead to relying on validation from other people and like neglecting your self-partnership so look into the reasons why you choose to be self-partnered in the first place and you know don't let other people get in the way of your personal growth and um, independence right now and you know face conflict head on and assert yourself and address issues that need your intention in your personal development journey so you know maybe you don't want to do the sadder work but you need to do the sadder work sort of thing you know and so just you know be real with yourself at this time if you are self-partnered so now i'm just going to finish up by talking about the best things for creatives professionals entrepreneurs and alternative healers lovers singles and self-partnered people to do when the sun's in libra and also you know um talk about the overall positive negatives and um best use of this energy so for creatives it's a good energy to work with others um especially on projects that focus on beauty and aesthetics professionals should um you know network and negotiate at this time 
entrepreneurs should focus on partnerships and bring more balance into their business ventures, alternative healers may find that their healing practices are particularly effective now, especially those involving energy balancing and relationship healing. Lovers can increase their romantic relationships by focusing on communication, compromise and said activities. Singles can use this time to focus on self-care and building connections with others. Self-partnered and people may find that they are able to strengthen their relationships through self-reflection, self-love and setting boundaries in relationships. So the overall positives are that, you know, it's a good time to focus on partnerships, communication and finding common ground with others. But negatively, it can lead to indecisiveness and people pleasing behaviour and avoidance of conflicts. So it's essential to be aware of these tendencies and strive for authenticity in connections rather than being superficial. The best use of this energy is to work on improving relationships, seeking balance in all areas of your life and you know working on your negotiation skills also embrace being diplomatic cooperating with others and you know being um, you know creative as well can lead to a more fulfilling and harmonious experience during this time so yeah that's the end of this very in-depth you know looking at it from all angles of what to do when the sun is transiting in Libra I'm Amani and thanks for listening take care and see you next time